Hello everybody again. This is Larry Kirshner. I'm coming to you live well, Not live because it's filmed Prior <laughs> to you watching it today. I'm making a video here at Piccadilly Palace where we built this amazing black light mini golf and uh, We have a lot of it turned off a lot of the TVs turned off. This is the facade. Let me get really far back. Uh, you can't really see because the lights are turned off. See the lights up there? They're all turned off. There's nobody here. It's a beautiful skating rink. Um, probably the best one I've ever seen. And you can see they have all these arcade games. and They have this beautiful skating rink. Although there's no one here. The video games are on. Um, so we are doing a series of videos to help you get started in the family fun center industry and some of the most common um, questions that we get um, about blacklight mini golf is how much do they cost should I do nine holes or 18 holes uh, and what theme should I pick those are the most common questions. Um, another question that I get a, a lot is, hey, there's another one already in my town, um, but I can tell you if we didn't build it, you're in great shape, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because we build them on a whole other level than our competitors. It's not even close. So you see this artwork right here? This artwork is hand painted. And every one of these panels, and you can see this little gap here, okay? This is put on with screws, okay? That means you can take this whole mini golf apart and you could take it somewhere else. You could resell it, you could move it to a new location. The only thing that you really wouldn't be able to save is probably the bricks. Would be really hard to get off of the carpet and reuse. But other than that, the whole entire thing could be taken apart, reconfigured somewhere else. All of these walls, these interior walls you see, they're not screwed to the physical ground. These were built in our shop. We supplied all of these interior walls. The customer supplies the exterior walls. So today's video, and we're gonna go over this right now, is how do I get in the business of operating a mini golf only family fun center, okay? And what, what do I need to build a mini golf? I'm gonna go over that for you today. So while we're walking around. So let's answer all the, your questions. And while we look at this beautiful, magnificent mini golf. Now I will tell you that if you are building a mini golf only facility, it is very important that you have a beautiful black light mini golf. And we paint everything so that it, they can actually be in 3D. So when you wear 3D glasses, it all layers out. And it just adds another element to the attraction. Um, we provide all of these interior walls. I hate to call them interior walls because in a lot of cases we build them like sets. But all of these walls, let's just kind of go through this so we can get on the same page together. So what the client provides is the room. Preferably, you would love to have a big square area, that would be best, but they are custom built so that the configuration of the space doesn't matter. When you're building a nine hole, you'd like to have 2,000 to 2,500 square feet. When you're building an 18 hole, you would like to have 4,000 to 4,500 square feet. Could you build it in less than 4,000? Yes. Is it preferred? No. Um, and you would like to have more square footage. We don't charge by the square foot, so it does not matter if you have 4,800 square feet. It does not matter. 4,000, 4,800, does not matter. Because what it, all it really does, it gives more room, as you can see, for the players to stand around while they're watching other players putt, okay? Because that's one of the things you do in mini golf. So you'll see that all of the walls are black. You'll also see the client has black lights. You provide that. You'll also see up there that the space has, and it seems like it's blurry and it's hard to see, but they have overhead lights. And what you want this attraction on is one light to turn on all of the 
uh, effects and the black lights and wanted to turn on the overhead. So you can have both going at the same time or you can have only the overhead lights on so you can vacuum and whatnot or you just have the show condition on which would be the black lights and all the power. So that's what you would like to have. You would like to have that installed right behind the counter, as you see right there, so they can turn it on and off. Now I do recommend that every mini golf has a TV in the counter with video camera so you can just kind of sort of monitor in case you're just running the mini golf with just one person, which is perfectly fine. You want to be able to see what's going on inside in case somebody's doing something a little weird. You can go in there and shut that down. Now, the client, as I said, provides the black lights. Now you can see this particular client painted the whole roof black, which is better. You want the roof black. You want the whole space black if you can. And then what you need, and I'm gonna walk out here. So let's just say all this is open and it's arcade, okay? You need a wall between the golf and the rest of the facility. That's really all you need and you need to put down a putting carpet which we would provide you. Now some people put down a black light, you know, themed carpet, but see, then it's gonna be underneath the holes. Now we don't recommend clients do that. Our, some of our, our competitors do because their artwork is really just not that great. So it helps increase the level of glow. Now we don't need that as you can clearly see, everything is glowing and popping and we don't want the carpet to conflict with the scenes, okay? So let's just hypothetically say you have this square space, you have your black lights, you have your black putting carpet or any carpet you want. When we ever do the retro golfs, we do suggest the client puts in a black uh, kind of like fun carpet and it's perfectly fine. For pirates, we don't recommend it, but it's okay, you could get a black light themed pirate carpet and then you, on, the, on the putting holes, you can replace it with black, it's just more work. It would look fine though. Okay, now, that's all you need. Now, what do we do? That's the question. That's the question. So, facades are extra, but this one has a facade. But you'll see that we provide all of the perimeter artwork. The perimeter artwork goes all around the perimeter of the mini golf. Now, the problem with some of our um, competitors is that's all they do, okay? As you can see with this mini golf, that's not all we do. We literally do three, four times more artwork than they do. We do three, four times more work as well. But you can see the perimeter artwork, it's literally on panels, they're very expensive, and so they're very durable, and you could literally take them off, move them, and move the whole thing to a new location, okay? Uh, we provide flat holes uh, to keep your budget within reason. We can also, we've also done mini golfs where every hole was raised, but typically on, let's say a $200,000 mini golf, we provide about six or so raised holes. Like in other words, like every other one or every third one, okay? We also do all the interior walls. You see all these, they're interior walls. So we built that wall, this wall, this facade, okay? Now see, this is room number one. This is room number two. We built the raised holes, the CGI effects, the fiberglass. We call these cutouts. So in other words, um, so, some of them are painted literally on the wall like this one and other ones are painted on uh, a really thick wood so you can put them anywhere. But see all the wall panels, you see all these wall panels? Now it's painted straight on the wall and all the walls are numbered on the top. So when we get here to install it, we know where they go, okay? so. Um, all of these walls can come out. They're not screwed to the floor. Um, and you can see this right here is like another facade piece. We built that. So instead of just plain Jane artwork, which is not plain Jane, our artwork is amazing. But instead of just artwork, we do break it up a lot with facades and set pieces. We provide the props, the sets, CGI effects. And then this is very important, door jams. So you know, hey, I'm entering another part of the story. And in each scene, there's an individual sound system. And I'll show you right here. Do you see that speaker? It's dark in here, but there's a speaker in every single room. Each sound is unique to what is happening in the room, okay? So what you have done is you went from the pirate village 
onto the ship, exiting the ship, and you see a ship battle, as you can see here. Okay, you have two holes here, you have fiberglass props, uh, and then you know another thing you have is we call them obstacles. So you see my finger pointing, those are raised obstacles. They're literally as high as, higher than my foot. Okay, believe it or not. And so these are just obstacles. You can see I can kick that. Okay, they're attached to the ground. Now, we built this wall. We built this upside down boat. It's gonna be like an upside down pirate boat. And look at this beautiful facade. We provide all of these bricks. And you see here, this particular building had beams. So if we get good architectural plans, we'll build pillars around the beam, as you can see there, okay? More fiberglass props. All of our fiberglass props are lifted off the ground so they can't get pummeled with golf balls. We put fiberglass props everywhere. You see them there, you see them up in the ceiling. You see a big great white shark up there. Now, another thing that we like to provide a lot of is photo ops. So you can see there's a chair for your guests to sit in between the two um, guards and there's a CGI right there above their head. It's a photo op. Here again, you have another beam. We built uh, a beam, you know, like a pillar around it to continue the theming. Now, you see another wall here. Now, what's unique about this wall right here is you see that's eight feet. You can see the line right there. We built these what we call toppers. So the tree goes up so high, they're toppers. So based on your budget, we can build a mini golf that's 10 or 14 or 12 feet tall, costs a lot more. But in some cases, the eight foot just doesn't look good. So in the case here, we built these toppers right here to make the trees look bigger. And we did the same thing here with the skull. Now normally that skull is lit up. We have a lot of the power turned off so a lot of the audio doesn't come on. But those light up. And again, that's uh, another piece that goes higher than eight feet. And you see there's another topper right here. So all that was provided by us. And you can see right here, here's another wall. And instead of doing the traditional artwork, we built a facade. Now that facade totally lit, lights up. Uh, it's turned off because of the power so you can hear the video. Um, we built the boat, provided the fiberglass, provided all the artwork all the way around as you can see. And here's another example of a really cool obstacle. Look at that snake. Doesn't that look cool? See, there's my foot. That snake looks as real as can be. And we're in the Forbidden Temple. The Forbidden Temple also has uh, a, a uh, ending scene. And then the ball gets held right in here. And this opens up. And they get their golf balls back. So you can kind of see what we provide, what we don't provide. Now look at this. This is another element to what we do. This wall was built off this wall with these holes. And you see like different animals poking their heads through. Because you're in the ruins of a temple. And say we built another one here. And this is what we do. This is how we do it. You'll see there's another speaker there. And this is very interesting here too because this is a photo op for your guests. They can put their faces in here, their skeletons, they've got the treasure, and the story is over. Now, this mini golf also includes a pre-show, a facade. We don't provide facades for every mini golf. It just depends on the client's budget. Uh, we work, um, you know, with each client based on what their budget, what their theme is. Now, the other thing that we don't do is we don't drill on the flat holes. We don't drill the holes into the ground. That's something you do after we're done. We physically install the entire mini golf. And then you put the holes in the ground wherever you want. So I tend to believe that it's better to do them last because sometimes a hole might get shifted left, right, whatever. And so you can putt it and you can kind of sort of figure out where's the best place for the, for the hole, the client can. And then you just have a, um, a third party vendor come in and drill the holes out. It doesn't take that long. I think the last job, it took the guy three, four hours and it was done. Okay? So that's what we provide. That's what it takes to work with us. And you can see right in here, we're flying a drone. And there it is right there. <laughs> and so I'm gonna step out.
And we are gonna finish this video so that drone can do its work. So with all that being said, let's talk about theme. Uh, what is the best themes? And I gotta get to an area where it's, more, where it's brighter. So what are the best themes, you might ask? Well, it goes in waves. One minute, uh, we build a brand new jungle mini golf for somebody and then we get two, three orders for jungle. Um, but the most popular themes ranked are pirates. Pirates uh, seems to appeal to everyone. It's a very popular theme. We, it's probably half of all the mini golfs we've done have been pirates. Right now, I would say the second most popular is the retro. Um, and really all of them are about the same after pirate. Uh, jungle, um, the wizard golf, is really nice and we're about to build a really cool one of those. The Wizard Golf, the Jungle, the Jurassic, um, the Retro. Uh, we have done quite a few Old West. We also have done a lot of custom themes. Um, really the theme does not matter. Uh, what matters is creating an attraction for you that is going to appeal to your customers and be photogenic, that they're gonna take photos and share all over the internet, that's gonna give you a great attraction to create content for social media, and that's what we do. So the process to order from us is to contact us through blacklightattractions.com and get us on the phone. We discuss your theme, your budget, um, the square footage that you have, the time frame that you wanna get this built. Now it takes us typically about a month to build an attraction. It takes us about a week to install it. But typically, um, we tell you when we can start your project. You put down 50%. Uh, when we get to building your attractions, the only one we'll build until it's done and installed. So uh, you give us a call, you give us, you know, tell us what your time frame is. We'll let you know if we can make that happen or, or when around that date we could uh, get your attraction built and installed. And, um, and so once we have all the details, we'll get you a proposal. You, we send you a proposal, we get 50% down. Um, we get 40% when it's ready to ship, when we literally are putting it on truck and 10% when we arrive at your location to install it. So the turnaround is, you know, no more than six weeks from the time we start it um, to the time we have it installed. So there you have it. If you have any more questions, you can reach out to me. Um, you know, give us a call off our website. Um, you can also text, you can call morning, noon, or night. Uh, the phone's on 24 hours a day. You can leave a message if no one answers and we'll call you back. Um, you can also send us an email at info at blacklightattractions.com. Typically, we, we do go to a few different trade shows. Not always, it depends on how busy we are. Um, but there you have it. If you have any other questions about our mini golfs and what it takes to get one um, to you, just leave us a, uh, a comment below. Uh, one other question we get asked a lot too is, uh, um, what is an appropriate budget? For a nine hole, around 130,000 to 175, and for a 18 hole, somewhere between 175 and 250. And I can explain all the differences between one that costs 200 and 250. And really quickly, I'll explain, like we're doing a wizard golf and it's gonna have three an big giant animatronics. We've done some uh, T-Rex ones where there was big giant uh, animated dinosaurs, okay? That adds to the cost. It really doesn't change the, the actual attraction that much. It just bells and whistles, and that really is typically the price differences. There's also a lot of CGI effects that we might have, or you might want more raised holes, more complicated raised holes, and that just adds to the cost. Um, but there you have it, and if you have any questions, seriously, leave a comment below and let us know what the questions are, and we'll get them answered, or just send us an email, or call us at, uh, our, on our phone number off the website. So, thank you for watching the video. Um, we look forward to building you a black light mini golf or a laser tag because everything I said today about mini golf applies to laser tag. We need to know the theme, the budget. Typically, the budgets on a laser tag that's around 2,000 ish square feet. We charge around $200,000. And one other thing I want to say we don't nickel and dime customers. So, this includes um, us paying our own transportation to get to your location to do the install. Uh, we do have the client book the hotels, but we rent our own round cars, we get our own airplanes. 
And it also includes the shipping. We'll either bring it to you and unload it ourselves, depending on where you're located, or we'll ship it to you. And then you have to unload it, and then once you do, and you get it, we'll come and install it. But it includes shipping, and includes all the transportation costs, and all the installation costs to install it. Hopefully, I covered everything and gave you uh, all the information that you need. And so right now, what do you need to decide? What theme do you want? How many square feet? What's your budget? And then let's get something going for you. And just to kind of one other thing, the process is once I have your signed contract, the very first thing we do is a blueprint, which you approve, then we start building it. Um, we will send you photos and updates all through the process. You're more than welcome to come to our location at any time and see the progress. And uh, we do look forward to building a mini golf or a laser tag for you in the near future. So thanks for watching the video. And we do look forward to helping you in the future. And don't forget we also can help you acquire all the video games where um, a dealer for some different companies we work with some big distributors and we can help you through that process as well so we're just kind of like a one-stop shop we'll help you with the digital marketing we can actually produce um, all of your um, digital marketing uh, spots oh and we also can help you with ticketing so you can do reservations we can help you set up all of that we're like a one-stop shop we're going to help you, and we're going to help you be successful. And that's the key. So, visit our website at Blacklight Attractions. And from Piccadilly's Palace. And anytime you want to come to St. Louis, we'll show you our escape rooms. We'll show you our mini golf. We'll show you this mini golf, which isn't super far away. And until then, I look forward to speaking to you by phone and then meeting you in person when we're installing your attraction.